This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie, but rather the beginnings of a novel imaging technique being developed by a team led by Clemson University scientist Jeffrey Anker to detect and monitor bacterial infections on implanted medical devices. The purpose of the grant is to try to develop a novel imaging technique and sensor in order to detect implant-associated infections. If you have an implanted medical device, um, something like this, if you've got a tibia, your shin bone gets cracked um, in multiple places, a cast isn't going to allow the pieces to align properly and heal. So instead a surgeon will go in and insert these uh, plates and screws and um, it's generally a successful surgery, but unfortunately this implant as well as most implant, actually all implanted medical devices have a risk that they will get infected. And it's not just that they increase the risk of infection, it's also that if a device gets infected, there, it's very hard to treat because it is resistant to antimicrobial agents, antibiotics, and it's also resistant to the host's immune systems. The solution to this is if you could detect it early, um, you could try um, washing it out better, and also you stand a chance of understanding which antibiotics are being effective at killing the bacteria on the surface of the implant, which are the ones that are hard to treat with the antibiotics, the ones that you um, really care about. Um, so there's currently not a good way of monitoring those bacteria. Um, and so what we're doing is we're coating the surface of this implant with uh, an acid sensor. And when the bacteria grow, they produce uh, acids. Uh, also your immune system, um, white blood cells produce acids. The result is that there are acidic environments which are um, thought to be part of the reason why the bacteria are resistant, but these acidic environments also give us an opportunity to image where the bacteria are and study their environments. And that way we can see if the, the, bacteria, the biofilm is regrowing after a treatment and how rapidly. And that um, in the long term will allow us to develop better treatments and better surfaces to pre prevent infection in the beginning, at the first place, and uh, also potentially allow us to image the biofilm at an early stage so that you know if it's there and be able to monitor the treatment. When we first started, we started with another type of sensor, but it had some leaching problems, and then now we have moved to a more biocompatible form of sensor, which is more biocompatible to be uh, put inside the human body. I'm responsible for uh, helping to develop equipment and software for the scanning system. It's going really well. We're getting some really high resolution images right now. Um, we're really getting to the point where we can start to image through thicker and thicker tissue and um, hopefully we should be able to uh, do some uh, good quality imaging through cadavers, through animal models as well.